you down to business. You want right. to fight with me on Trump? I well, I don't want to fight with you. I mean, you're lost. Look, I think you're a very smart guy. You're a great politician. But in this case, I can't help you. You know, I mean, this is how you feel. But there's no way, Peter, because I know you're a very, 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 very smart guy. There's no way. And you know, I think you were even on Newsmax last night. There's no way you can sit there and watch that last night and say, oh, my God, that's the guy we need. You just can't do that. Yeah, but you can't look at it just in a vacuum. Yes, he did give a, a pretty good speech last night. He stayed on message. But looking at his proven record, he can't stay on message. And uh, also, even though he does appeal to a base and he got things done as president, he was not able to communicate that. I mean, in uh, 2018, we lost more seats in Congress than we lost more than, I guess, half a century. And it, Donald Trump was the target because he antagonizes, needlessly antagonizes so many people. In 2020, no matter how you add up the votes, you lost by at least six or seven million votes after what should have been a successful term as president. And then between Election Day and January 20th, like needlessly fighting and fighting over whether or not he won or lost the election. Then he went to Georgia and that cost us the two Senate seats there. And that really is the, the main problem we've had, because Joe Biden would not have been able to do what he did if we controlled the Senate. We turned it over and Biden was able to just ram things through because we lost control of the Senate. And it's because Donald Trump puts his ego first. That's damaging. A real leader thinks of his country first and also is able to mobilize people. He didn't. And then on January 6th, I know you'd like to pass it over. But to me, to have any president, any patriot, see what was going on at the Capitol, sit there on television and do nothing. Well, uh, again, the place is being torn apart. Damage is being done. Lives are at risk. And yet, like Kevin McCarthy is on the phone. His friend kept begging him, begging him to call that off, and he wouldn't. His response was, well, I guess the process is like me more than you do. I mean, that, that is disgraceful conduct for a president. It really is.